Hi my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess and today I'm going to be making a wreath for Christmas and I'm going to be making it out of trimmings from my parents land actually. It's not our land um, because we don't have enough variety of trees on our land but my parents were nice enough to let us um, take a few cuttings from their trees. So we have um, a blue spruce, we have pine, we have cedar, I think is what this is, or I don't know if it's cedar or juniper. I'll put it on the screen what it is. And then we also have this, which is I think a different variety of this green one here. Um, it's just blue. So we have a whole bunch of different things to play with. And so I'm going to be making a wreath. I actually followed Garden Answers tutorial on this. So I'll include a link down below because I think she does a really great job explaining how to make a wreath. And I'm not extremely well versed in making wreaths, so I'm not necessarily qualified to teach you. <laughs> um, but a few of the things I used is just the metal wreath form. Mine had three rings around the outside. Um, I have some wire cutters and then also some floral wire or paddle wire. Um, but the thing I really wanted to emphasize today is how to add succulents to your wreath if you're interested in doing that and that I am qualified <laughs> um, to teach you. So first things first, you're going to need a wreath whether or not you make that yourself or you purchased it from somewhere. It can be fresh or it can be fake. Um, it doesn't really matter. This technique to add succulents to it will work both ways. having all four of these varieties in here really made this pop. I think this is absolutely wonderful. Um, so you can see we have the blue spruce. I kind of laid the blue spruce on every single piece and then I alternated with the pine and this blue cedar because I didn't have as many pine and blue cedar. So I alternated every bundle with that um, and then I kept the normal green cedar in there for every piece. But isn't that just gorgeous? I'm in love and obsessed. So obviously you can leave your wreath just like this, um, but I'm going to add a few succulents in it because why not? And I wanna show you guys how. Okay, so these are the two succulents that I'm gonna be using. You can see I'm trying to stick with that blue-gray theme. So I'm just going to take my little sewing scissors, which is a, what I use for taking all my cuttings. And with these blue-gray ones, I'm just going to take one. I, well, let's take two. Why not? We'll take both of these. You can keep the base because that will grow new babies. And then with this Echeveria, which I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure what type this is, I'm going to try to push up the succulents a little bit just so I can access their stem a bit more. And we're just gonna kind of make this messy <laughs> um, because I'm really going to just kind of take this whole thing apart here. So ideally what you'll do is you'll water your succulents about a week before you do this project. And then what I'm showing you here is I'm trying to remove as much of the dirt from the stem as possible because I want to expose this stem part. And then I'm going to cut down as far as I can just like that because I want to try to get as much stem as I physically can. Um, so we're then we're going to do that with these other two. And essentially it's going to feel like I'm just cutting off the roots <laughs> um, probably. but that's okay okay so now we have our three cuttings so then I've already cut my little wires in small pieces and I'm going to begin by threading this through the middle of the stem of these succulents so there's that one and then you're just going to do this to all of them here by just trying to go in the middle as much as possible. With these really thin ones, you'll just wanna go slow so that you don't um, accidentally break the stem. 
that you're trying to go through. Um, with these echeverias, it's a little bit easier, usually. Don't worry about killing the succulent because you will be able to replant these. This is how I did my ones in my bouquet and I still have all of them from my wedding. So now let's take these and go over to our wreath. All right, so I just hung up my wreath on my door. I think this is going to make it a little bit easier to incorporate the succulents. And then I have the succulents already on the stem. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of interweave these and kind of wrap my wire around the already made frame and just kind of incorporate them that way. So you just wanna be really careful with where you're positioning it. Um, I'll take another one and kind of show you. But you can kind of just gently push these in, um, just be really, like I said, gentle with it. And then if you if this is on a door that doesn't move very much or on the wall, then you honestly don't have to super secure it. You can always secure it with a little bit of hot glue um, or by reaching back in here and twisting the wires together. Okay, so this is the finished project. You can see the little cluster of succulents right there. I think they turned out really pretty. I ended up not using the other kind. I just kind of incorporate them the way I wanted to. Um, I might not keep these succulents in here just because I want to put this wreath on a door that moves a lot and um, the succulents if I secure them would be fine but I think I really like the look without them a little bit more um, so I'm just going to remove these for my finished product but if you ever wanted to incorporate succulents it's really not that difficult don't feel free don't feel afraid to use hot glue because succulents are not hurt by hot glue just stick to the base of the succulent and you won't even notice the difference. And then you can always remove them later in January or whenever you're done with the wreath and you can repot them back up in soil and they'll do just fine. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a, the like button a big thumbs up. I'm going to hope to make a few more Christmas videos for you guys um, this winter season. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Comment any questions you have down below or if you liked this wreath. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.